Hello and welcome back to another video. In this problem, we're looking to find the value of c such that the line y is equal to 3 halves x plus 6 is tangent to the curve y equals c root x. So if we write these out next to each other, we can see that y is equal to 3 halves x plus 6, and y is equal to c root x, which we're going to write as x to the 1 half. We'll see why we're doing that in a second. But we know that if this line is tangent to the curve, that at whatever point we're dealing with, they're going to have the same x and y values. Therefore, this y is equal to this y, and 3 halves x plus 6 is equal to cx to the 1 half. Since these are both equal to y, they're equal to each other. Since it's tangent to the curve, we know that not only are they touching at this point, but they have the same slopes. So we find the derivatives. The derivative of this is just for this term, we have an x term, so the derivative is just the coefficient, plus the derivative of the constant is just zero, so three halves plus zero is three halves, and here we have c, we have a power function, so you bring down the exponent, and then you subtract one to get your new exponent. So this is one half c, x to the negative one half. Okay. Now, we want to get this in the same form as this. So how are we going to do that? Well, if you notice, if we divide this entire equation by x, then we can get, crossing out, 3 halves plus 6 over x plus x to the first being divided, x to that 1 half divided by x to the first. You subtract them you subtract the exponents, so you get cx to the 1 half minus 1, which is negative 1 half. So this is equal to cx to the negative 1 half. And also, if this is the derivative, if we want to say this derivative is equal to this derivative, we can say 3 halves is equal to 1 half cx to the negative 1 half. Therefore, if we multiply both sides by 2, we get 6 over 2 is 3 is equal to c x to the negative 1 half. And now you can see why I've been doing what I've been doing. I've been manipulating these equations so that we have c x to the negative 1 half in both of these. We can set them equal to each other. So 3 halves plus 6 over x is equal to this, which is equal to 3. Therefore, 3 is equal to this. Now we can solve for x, um, subtracting by 3 halves on both sides. We get 6 over x is equal to 3 minus 3 halves is 3 halves. You can cross multiply to get 3x is equal to 6 times 2 is 12. Therefore, x is equal to 4. So this is the x value of the point of intersection. And if you want to find the y value, we can plug in 4 to this. 3 halves times 4 plus 6. This is 12 over 2, which is 6 plus 6. 12 over 2 is 6 and then plus 6. And that's 12. So the point is x, y, which would be 4, 12. Now we can find c because we know that the point 4, 12 is on this curve, just like it's on the line. We can plug in x, we can plug in y to solve for c. So we have y equals c root x, 12 equals c root 4. Therefore, 12 equals root 4 is 2, so 2c. Two Dividing by 2 on both sides, we get c is equal to 6. So therefore, we found the value of 6, which is what it's actually asking for, and therefore the curve would be 6 root x. As always, thank you for liking and subscribing, and I will see you in the next video.